Hi. So I guess this is just my like unofficial Prados Indigenous Peoples Day release outfit. Who's to say? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. For those of you who have been viewers of mine, you will know that I am a big fan of One Miss Prados Beauty. I made a video last year when the Lauren Good Day collection came out. I don't think that I had a code at that point, but guess what? New year, new discount code. I do have one now, which is very exciting. As a quick funny aside, Cece, the owner of Prados Beauty, <laughs> was telling me the other day that she genuinely thought for like three years that I was on the PR team and she like realized one day um, with like talking to the other staff that like I wasn't on the PR team but bitch I am now. I just want to say first and foremost a huge thank you to Cece, Teresa, Mo, Mariana, everybody over at Prados Beauty. Thank you for adding me to the list. This is the only brand that I receive PR from right now. I have something very exciting I'm going to show you. So, hold please. Check it out. They didn't make this, I made this. So, you know. Gotta love Canva. What's in the box? What's in the box? It is the new launch. So, let's get into it. So before I open and get into this, I want to share a quick little anecdote. So I was able to pick this up in person, which is great. However, I have been guarding this with my life for weeks. <laughs> I'm not joking, girl. I even, um, I won't show the picture because I'm not going to dox myself, but I even like held this close to my chest to bring it into my house because I didn't even want the chance that my ring cameras would catch this on there and my FBI agent who's monitoring me to accidentally leak it. This is the new collection. I'm going to open the box and then we're going to go through it together. I'm going to show you the products and then I'm going to do, I, I don't want to spoil it, but I can do like so much of my face with these products. Da, na, na, na. This is the new collection. This is my PR box. I'm very excited. There's also an insert that I'm gonna read. Um, so I'll put timestamps for everything in the description of this video. And then we'll go through and there will be a nice little makeup look at the end. Let me just read from my script here. I am not to show this collection to anyone until October 7th at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. <laughs> Only sneak peeks. This is La Indigena Guerra, the indigenous warrior. Sochi Quetzal, also known as Ichpochitli, was a revered goddess associated with fertility, beauty, and love. She served as a protector of young mothers and a guiding figure for pregnancy, childbirths, and women's crafts like weaving and embroidery. I'll take the last two things. She is also praised for being the goddess of flowers, known for being a warrior, and the definition of resilience. Sochi Quetzal's name means flower, precious flower in Nahuatl? I'm, I'm trying. Please don't yell at me if you could kindly correct me if I'm saying things wrong. Thank you so much. This collection is dedicated to Sochi Quetzal is a tribute to the beauty and strength of women everywhere. Through the vibrant hues and artistry of Ra Azul, shout out, we weave a tapestry of Nahuatl language and culture honoring the timeless story of feminine power. I'm like gonna cry. I already had my turn this month, okay, but this is, spoiler alert, I've seen the products and I have used a couple of them a few times, but I haven't, I've been saving it because like, if you saw my life update video, which like might not make sense, but I'm filming today, but my life update video is gonna go up first. So you're seeing me in a bare face, but in that one I have makeup on, so it may be confusing. Don't worry about the movie magic of it all. Long story long, I have seen all these products, so I know what they are. I've already opened them and played with a couple but I have been hiding this literally locked up in my beauty room in my house because I didn't want any spoilers or anything. I have shown none of my friends this, nothing. Like and anyone who's stopped by my house, nobody gets to see it. I don't even want to like talk about it because I want to risk anything. This collection launches on October 11th, 2024 at 9 a.m. Also Mountain Time, I'm assuming, on ProdusBeauty.com. This collection will also launch in 149 JCPenney stores across the U.S. The collection in JCPenney will consist of the following items. If you want to just be surprised and see when I open the box, skip to that timestamp below. One 16 pan La Indigena Guerra eyeshadow palette, which is $32. Two pan Nina Del Sol, I think that's supposed to be Nina. 
I'm gonna assume it's Nina del Sol Bron Tour, the Tupan Beso del Sol Blush, Chocolato Lip Liner, Copali Lip Oil, Pizzoli Liquid Lipstick. This is important for anyone interested in getting the collection. It says, for our website, there are a limited amount of VIP boxes. This VIP box will include everything named above and one huge tote bag. The cost of the VIP and tote bag will be a total of 165 US dollars. I hope that made sense. Let's start with the bag. Stand by. Now, when Miss Cecilia says huge tote bag, she is not joking. For size reference, this is my fat juicy ass. This is the bag. It's a big bag, okay? I could fit so many things in here, and I just have to say as well. One, the artwork, stunning. This is so, so beautiful. I am so grateful and incredibly lucky to be a part of this PR team. I said this last year like so many times. It is not lost on me that I have the opportunity to receive PR from Prados. I am so grateful and this is so just stunningly gorgeous. It makes me sick. So I just got back from Florida. I'm gonna put this down because I mean, oh, actually before I do, let's just see the back. The signature Prados. Proudly indigenous, unapologetically beautiful. My summer slash early fall of travel is just about over. I only have one more trip left, which I will actually be on by the time this video goes up. I wanted to take this with me as my like beach bag to, because I could fold it and put it in my suitcase and then take it when we were on the beach in the Bahamas, but I couldn't because I don't want anybody to get sued. Beautiful bag, love it. This is going to be, if not my new grocery bag, just my carrying all my junk around with me everywhere because I got a lot of stuff, I need a lot of room. I gotta carry this FJA somehow. Now to get into the box. So this is the collection, this is the VIP box. So if you get the VIP box, you will get this and the huge tote bag that was just seen. As I said, I am going to shatter the illusion for you now, I have already been using a couple of these products. So, da na na na. We have eyeshadow palette, bronzer, blush, lip liner, lip oil, lipstick i think on the bottom too don't quote me but i'm gonna go through and open them and show you they're all stunningly beautiful and i'm very sorry in advance if you are not in a position to purchase them also i'm not gonna swatch everything i'm just gonna open and show you because as much as i love to yap i'm going to at least try to make this video a little bit concise also these products are all vegan cruelty free the packaging is recyclable i'm not sure if there's anything else i'm missing i will put it in the description though if there is i don't think you're ready for this jelly, but I'll show it to you. Look at this stunningly beautiful eyeshadow palette. I love this so much. Every time, every time, I think, there's no way that they're gonna top the last collection or there's no way that I could love them more. They always do, and I always do. This is their 16 pan eyeshadow palette. It is smaller than their traditional eyeshadow palettes. So for reference, this is a Sagrado palette. This is the 30 pan. This one's 18. So it's smaller, a little bit more travel friendly, a little bit more budget friendly, depending on what your situation is. But this is the eyeshadow palette. As you can see, <laughs> she's already been a little well loved. <sighs> I love this so much. You guys aren't ready. I'm so excited to show you this. Okay. I've, I've been waiting. This is the blush duo. It's so beautiful. I could cry. This is the blush that I've been using a couple times. I haven't yet ventured into the more like fuchsia color, but for my makeup lovers with deeper complexions, I think this would eat on you. Oh my God. I'm very excited to see everyone else on the PR's team. On the PR teams? Yes. Look with those blushes. The Brontor. This I'm gonna try today. I haven't yet because I wanted to try to preserve as much of the product as possible. This is also a duo. Travel friendly size packaging. I am obsessed. So I'm gonna, the quickest of tangents, I promise. I know I yap so, so much. When I travel, I try to take either my like favorite things or things that I can fit into my travel makeup bag, which is probably about like th this big of like a rectangle if I had to say. I usually get like minis of like a bronzer, a blush, whatever. These, taking them with me everywhere now because I can. Look at this, isn't she stunning? And I'm going to assume that just like with every Prados blush, a little goes a long way. One pat, tap off the excess and you're good. You don't need to be swirling and twirling up in here and these will last you so, so long. So these are definitely worth the $15. Wow, I can't believe that I've already been yapping for over 18 minutes. This is the Chocolato Lip Liner. This as well I have been using and then carefully putting back in the carton. Also, I will put these in recycling, but not until after launch day. I don't know if you all can see from back here, 
but it has Prados in blue. I can't, I didn't ask if these are twist. I think they're twist ups. That's the color. Chocolate. This is the Copali lip oil. Definitely a need in my old age. I just turned 30 also, which is probably a my life update video, but if you didn't see that, I turned 30 uh, in September. And so I, in my old age, I don't know when this happened or why, I used to be an all matte, all the time lip girly. Now, I do like a darker liner, something light to kind of blend out in the center of my lips, and then I throw a gloss over top. Who is she? I don't know. So I'm very interested to also use this lip oil. Look at her. We know I love a purple lip. Also for my more natural makeup people, or if you just want like a good product to use, this is the one. They don't put crap into Prado's products. No, they do not. They only put the good stuff. Finally, this is the Pizzoli Lipstick. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited. I haven't done a dark lip in a while, but for this, we're doing it. So once again, these are the products in the collection. You get a lip liner. Lipstick, lip gloss, bronzer, blush, eyeshadow palette. You can buy them individually or you can buy them in the VIP box. What you do is up to you. Just saying, if you wanted to get them, they're all stunningly beautiful and worth your money. I'm going to mention very briefly before I get into the actual application of my makeup that I do have a discount code. It is HOTCAS, all one word, H-O-T-C-A-S-S. -S. Again, discount code HOTCAS if you wanna save some coin. I think that's everything. Let's get to putting on some makeup, shall we? So in a shocking turn of events, I think I might be wild and do my eyes first. I like never do that. There are most Mostly mattes in this palette. I had said um, with most of the collection from last year, the Lauren Good Day collection, it was so beautiful. I use those palettes so, so often. I know this may be a hot take as a makeup lover and connoisseur, I don't like glitter. I, <laughs> I like to look at it. I think it's pretty. I feel like it's so messy and it gets everywhere. Once it's somewhere, it's like everywhere. For instance, I drove some friends to EDC a few years ago in my Prius that I used to have and I was still finding glitter in that car a year after. That's how invasive glitter is. I'm gonna do my eyes first. Also, yeah, we, we have some friends on my face today. Is it stress? I don't know, actually. I'm not feeling too, too overwhelmed. Well, let's be honest here. I am, first and foremost, always going to be honest with you all. This year, while amazing for my wanderlust heart, has been a lot. And I've been traveling so much this year, which like, oh my god, my life is so hard. I'm just traveling all the time. I have no kids and I get to sleep and take a shit by myself. It's like so first world problems. I've been on the road a lot. I've been doing a lot. I'm glad to just be able to like sit and chill at home. This has been so nice. From what I have used already, I've been loving these products. I don't know if everybody who does their eyes first does this this way, but I certainly do. I don't do my brows first. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna throw down, like I'm in the kitchen, base on my lids. How are you? What's the 411? I've seen a lot of friends and people from, I don't wanna say like my past because although I don't live in certain places anymore, I mean, it's not like I died, I just moved. And so like, these are people that we're still mutuals on Instagram or wherever. These are people I genuinely care about still. Like just because I don't, I, I want this to be clear. If I know you in real life, just because I don't see you in person like super often anymore, it does not mean that I love you any less or that I ever forgot about you. I know, who is she, Steve from Blue's Clues? I do pay attention. I stay connected with people from other places that I've lived online, mostly like through Instagram, just because like, not for nothing, I have a Facebook, but I feel that it's gotten awfully boomerific. So if I'm on there, it's normally just like to kind of check in if anybody else is saying anything. I don't really post there that often. I'm certainly, more of a TikTok and Instagram girly. As I had said last year, this is still true. My Instagram stories are gonna be where I'm the most active. Also, y'all, we have an exciting update. I can go live on TikTok now. Did I get a thousand followers? No! I don't know what I did or said or if they just changed the requirements, but now I too get to go live on TikTok and I have been having such a fun time with it. I love it. If you want to see me, uh, my username is a hot piece of cast pretty much everywhere, I believe. I'm going to do a blue halo eye 
it's sort of there's a look that I did like six years ago it was a Jackie Ina tutorial that I was following with a different palette I'm gonna do like the same kind of pattern of colors I guess is the best way to describe it anyway but with this palette instead so I'm gonna use a1 and s1 on my floofy Prados brush oh I'm so glad I'm finally able to film this video. I did a mass brush cleaning yesterday because I have needed to. Then I'm gonna take D3, which is that dark blue color, also a Prados brush. This is from the Matriarch collection, the Matriarch brushes. So I don't know the name of this brush. This is this one. I guess I could have just done this without talking, but how fun would that be? Fun fact, if I've never mentioned before, my eyes aren't blue. They're actually green almost. I don't know. I feel that like I've had this conversation before. My eyes change color. Then I am going to take A3, which is the lighter blue shade, and then do a nice little blenderoo to connect these two from one side to the other. I'm pissed. Pissed at how much I love these shadows. Oh! May I also just say, if you are a person that has brown eyes, this palette, chef's kiss. So there's synthetic mica in this, just FYI. Love it. Love it. I don't love what my hair looks like right now, but that's a whole separate deal. I'm gonna take O3. Oh baby. It's this like dark blue shimmer shade. What an exciting and beautiful color. This is also why I wanted to do my eyes first because I knew I was gonna go for something like this. And I don't usually smoke, but when I do, it's eyeshadow. With like the teensiest, tinesiest little dab, I'm gonna go into the black. Because if there's one thing I know about Prados products, it's that they are pig, men, Ted. Very gingerly. I don't know that I've ever shown this trick on camera, but I'm going to show you guys now. So sometimes if I want to clean up my face a little bit, what I do is I take, this is a Clinique makeup brush cleanser. I just take a little spritz of it onto my microfiber cloth and I just clean it up like that. I mean, you could do this on like a flat brush too. Here's what's going to happen now. I'm going to pause filming and do my face makeup and then we'll be back to finish the other parts of the face that I can use the other products in the collection for because if I sit here and do my face makeup while I'm recording I will yap for another 18 minute chunk and then my camera memory card is gonna get pissed at me so I'll be right back I know what you may be thinking my god you are incredibly pale and I do look <laughs> incredibly pale I'm gonna fix it I just, normally I would do some underpainting, which I did a little bit today, but because I'm using the Brontour, I'm, I didn't want to do too much. This is what my face looks like at this current juncture. I think I look pretty friggin' good, if I do say so myself. Now I'm going to add some life back into my face since I look like a literal ghost. Let's first use Miss Brawny Tour, Come to the Sage. This is the Niña del Sol. Brawn Tour Duo. I'm gonna start light. I'm gonna use this, the left side. It's my left. I don't know if it's your left, but un petite dab. You can overdo it. Honestly, it's just makeup. It washes off. So I'm gonna dab off some of the excess. Also, Prados Major. How is my battery already done? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's enough slices. Me to me when I'm putting on bronzer. Cut these chins, girl. All right, stand by. Okay, I think we're good. I think I look pretty well bronzed. I'm now going to take this chisel brush, the lightest of hands, bronze tour myself on up. As with most days that I do my makeup, I'm not going anywhere. This is fine. It's fine. It's, it's literally fine. I'm talking to myself. You know what? I'm not gonna speak too soon. I'm gonna put blush on and I think it'll be fine. Beautiful thing. I'm gonna get a little crazy. So normally my everyday or like most of the time when I'm doing makeup, I usually mix the Nopo Suau and Hibiscus blushes. I'm gonna get a little crazy and I'm gonna mix these two. I don't know that you can tell on camera. My God, if this isn't just, I think I look sensational. You could disagree with me, you would be wrong, but I guess we'll see how it shows up on camera. Is it a teen heavy handed? Maybe, but you know what? If you're a blush lover, it's gonna look good. I also forgot to mention, but I did put, I used, let me pull out the palette again. So I used a mix of D2 and S3, which is one of the darker browns and the black to kind of smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. I'm gonna set my face one more time. I also, this is more of a recent development. I've been setting my face before I powder and then again before I put on lashes, just because I find that my lashes have started to get a little 
crusty and I don't know if it's because of the caked on layers of setting spray but I'm trying to preserve them as much as possible. My electric fan and my manual fan are both in the other room so happy late pride month everyone sorry I missed it because I wasn't uploading not to suck my own teeth or anything but I'm so pretty and I hope that you feel that way in your skin as well so I'm gonna do my lip on camera and then I'm gonna mascara and lash off camera and I will come back for final thoughts at the end This one is the Chocolatel Lip Liner. It's like a rich, rich, deep purple. Okay, now for the lipstick. I love this so much. I haven't tried this yet. What if I just left it like this? <laughs> I won't. I'm so happy. I love this color. It may look black almost. Now for the lip oil. I need to pause. I'll be back once again. I put on some mascara and lashes. I. I caved, okay? I put on eyeliner too because it just felt incomplete without it. So that is the whole Indigena Guerra collection. Uh, my try on. This is the final look. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe down below. And I will, at the latest, see you at the start of Vlogmas. If not, maybe a little bit sooner. I might throw my travel vlogs up before then. Who knows? I don't know, so I'm not gonna make any promises I can't deliver on. Any information that you're looking for is probably gonna be in the description below. Don't forget to shop Prado's Beauty launches October 11th at 9 a.m. Mountain Time, and yeah, I think that's everything. So I'll see you on the next one.